Hey, what's up everybody? My name is Cap and welcome back to the channel. Thank you very much for stopping by and I hope you're doing well. Today I'm playing a new game called Bendy and the Ink Machine. This is from GameJolt.com. It's an indie game, just came out this last week from a developer called The Meatly. Now this is a free game to play. It is technically done, but only chapter one is done. So that's what we're going to be playing in this video. And hopefully it'll go over pretty well. Let's see, dear Henry, so I'm Henry. Seems like a lifetime since we worked on cartoons together. 30 years really slips away, doesn't it? If you're back in town, come visit the old workshop. There's something I need to show you. That doesn't sound ominous. Your best pal, Joey Drew. Okay, so I'm Henry. My best pal is Do Joey Drew. Okay, now I have not looked too much into this game. I've only just a bare minimum just to kind of get acquainted with it. Chapter 1, Moving Pictures. But I'm one thing... Right, Joey. I'm here. Use WSD Let's see and a master find. Find. Now, for starters, I can say I love the art style of this. It has kind of an old-style Disney feel to it, or Merry Melodies before it became Looney Tunes, and it looks like the ceiling is dripping ink blood. Now, like I said, this game is free to play. Of course, you can donate if you want to to the developer, and he's got a Patreon he's using to raise funds to develop for Chapter 2, so hopefully we'll get that pretty soon. Now, real quick before I jump too far into this here, if you guys do enjoy this video all the way through to the end or whatever, do me a favor and let me know. You know, sing it loud in the comments and leave me a like on the video or whatever. And then when chapter 2 comes out, if you want me to, let me know if you want to see me continue playing through this. Okay, so we're just going to jump to this. I don't know much about it, but I know I like the art style. Like I said, kind of an old school Disney look to it. That looks like a, almost like Goofy. With Boris the Wolf. Okay, so his name's Boris. There's a dancing demon. Bendy is the main character here. Okay, all right, so we got WASD. Uh, let's see, we do have a jump. We don't seem to have a shift or anything to be able to run. What the hell was that? Hold on. Nice, I love the fact that everything looks like it's hand-drawn. This is how I do when I'm doing drawings. It's kind of just hand-drawn, black and white-ish, not much color. All right, let's, let's have a look around and see what's going on here. All right, uh, all right, so we got a projector with some creepy old school piano music playing. All right, let's see, I don't have a shadow, so that's always good. Let's see what's going on over here. No, absolutely not. Whatever's going on, Bendy doesn't like it. So, all right, so I don't know what exactly the objective is here other than just to find the machine. So this, like I said, chapter one, can I? Okay, so that door's locked. Okay, so apparently left clicking is how you do stuff here. The demon, the dancing demon again. Okay, the door is locked again too. We got us a drawing pad over it's here. My old desk. I wasted so much time in this chair. Said he wasted so much time in this chair. Well, if you enjoyed what you're doing, then you didn't waste it. Bendy is a creepy looking guy. He kind of reminds me of Felix the Cat. And it's going way old schools, like back in the time, like Betty Boop and stuff. So that's definitely. Uh, very old school reference here. I grew up watching some Felix, but you know, of course, there's reruns by then. Okay, that door is locked. What is this thing? Is it's a? Can I can I pick you up? Can I? I don't guess I can do anything with you. I don't know exactly what I'm. Uh, dreams come true. Now this is supposedly a creepy kind of game. It's rated teen for intense cartoon violence, animated bloodshed, and mild language. I'm assuming it looks like a horror game of some sort, and I do love some good old horror games. Let me see, there's a record right here. Projector, I don't can't seem to click on anything. These well, these doors seem to be locked. I guess I just there's more bendy. I guess I just need to keep going. See what I can come across. See there's a light under that door. But it's locked. So is that one. There's the ink machine. Alright, we'll go check that out. The thing is... So oh. this is the ink machine, huh? Wonder how you turn it on. That's a good question, Henry. Um, is there a... Can I just... Is it, there, that button up there looks like it should do something. Big cog out front. This thing needs to have a hose hooked up to it before it's going to be beneficial or it's just going to cause a mess. Can you open any drawers? No, no, can't open any drawers. Bendy off in the corner over there again. Let's see, is there anything around this side? It looks like a cog. It looks like a big cog. Whoa. I really do like the art style. I kind of wish there was a run button here. Now, horror games in general are always fun. Man, there's some trippy, ominous music on here. I like I like a good horror game. Horror movies don't scare me. I mean, jump scares don't bother me. You know, get it? 
jump scares. <laughs> I know, it's cheesy. But playing in a game that has a really creepy atmosphere, you know, got the headset going on, it can definitely make you jump a little bit here. Door. What's this? Oh, I can click on that. I don't get what Joey's plan is for this company. The animation sure aren't being finished on time anymore, and I certainly don't see why we need this machine. It's noisy, it's messy, and who needs that much ink anyway? Also, get this. Joey had each one of us donate something from our workstation. We put them on these little pedestals in the break room to help appease the gods, Joey says. Keep things going. I think he's lost his mind, but hey, he writes the checks. But I tell you what, if one more of these pipes burst, I'm out of here. Well, that's not creepy or anything. We got a pedestal somewhere. Little darling. So you can open this door. No, I'm thinking all the doors are locked. It's probably not even going to test those out too much more. We're going to go down this way and see what's down here. Might just be a dead end. Locked. Locked. Oh, got a projector room in here. All right. Can I let's see? Can I turn the projector on? Uh, doesn't look like there's any buttons in here. What is this? Flow. Ink pressure. Okay, so that don't do anything. Got some old. Uh, reel-to-reel -reel style films okay I just I don't know what this eerie music going on in the background here it's definitely got me jumpy a little bit that's what I'm saying you know creepy movies don't bother me I've been watching horror movies my whole life but to get immersed in a video game with a trippy sound can definitely kind of make me a little bit on edge here because you got the surround sound going on and Bindi is one creepy looking dude he really is got the horns going on up there he's definitely kind of devilish this place looks like it's gonna be kind of easy to get lost in okay so that's Wait, hold on. I think I went the wrong direction here. Okay, I need to go this way because I went that way. So we'll go this way. More no. Okay, so he's not happy with that. More bendy stuff. Oh, crap. Did that get? Did that just fall from the ceiling? Okay, I'm afraid to jump out there because something's going to jump out in front of me here. What the hell is going on down here? Sure, there's nothing in this room. Oh my god. Joey, what were you doing? Holy crap, it's the wolf. Look, you know, the old goofy looking thing, the wolf. What was his name? What was his name? Boris the wolf. Wow, he has been decimated. Look, just. He's been ripped open from the inside. There's a wrench right there, it looks like. <laughs> oh man. That, oh, that's kind of cool. I like the way. You see this? Like, you move the cursor over and it changes the focus from near to far. That's a pretty cool little feature. Who's laughing now? Well, apparently not Boris. Is that a book? That is a book. The Illusion of Living? Alright, well, okay. That's freaking creepy. And I don't know where, where this board came from. Somebody throw it at me? Okay, alright, so we have some pedestals here. What the? Alright, how do I get this to work? God, that noise made me jump. Fix the ink machine. Click objects to collect them. Okay, so we have a teddy bear, music note, an ink well. Okay, need low pressure. Can I do anything about that? No. A cog, a wrench, and a book. I'm guessing I have to get all of those, which is great because I just saw some of those. Now, some of them I didn't see. Oh my <laughs> god! Oh, oh sh Don't put this here. Yeah. Man, Bendy, that's. Even the narrator kind of jumped on that one. That's. That's not cool, bro. That's not cool at all. So I need to go back and collect the crap that I just got. Let me see. Can I pick this up now? I can. Nice. All right. What about this book here? I saw, okay. All right. So all the stuff I saw earlier, I can pick back up. Now, most of it seems kind of straightforward, except for the music note. Is am I supposed to be looking for a music note or? Let's see here. That, that that's not a cog. That's a movie real stupid. Okay, I'm kind of leery. It's like there's a moment. It was like you push W to go, and as soon as you let go of the button, it takes another step. So I always feel like something's about to move on me here. It's just kind of a jolting experience. Okay, that little blurry thing it does kind of makes me jump. I'm gonna try and go back. I think there was something down here I needed to get to in this film room here. Cause swore I saw something. Uh, let me see. Okay, so that's that. Okay, that doesn't do anything yet. Okay, so nothing in the film room. I thought I was, I thought I'd already done that, but this place is gonna be easy to get lost in. Okay, so I need to go back this way, I think. 
That's the ink machine. All right, I think I saw, wasn't there a cog back here? Cog, okay. So I have the wrench, the book, and the cog. I need a music note, that teddy bear I saw, which I'll have to go find that again. And uh, what was the other thing? I can't remember. Since I'm able to actually click on stuff, I'm sure I can find it. Let's head back towards the beginning here. Maybe we can actually see what it is we're looking for. Okay, there's the record. I guess that's for uh, music. I'm assuming so. It seems like it would make sense, you know. Okay, so there was the kitty. Oh, that's kind of a creepy sounding noise. What the? Oh, the sound of these things grinding over here just makes me kind of jump every time because it sounds like something's moving behind me. I mean, literally it is, of course, but... Okay, so we've got like an old school projector looking thing here. Uh, I don't see anything over here. Chair's not going to be of any benefit. Let's go back down this way and see. I can't remember if there was something down here or not. My old desk. I don't remember if there's something here or not. So those creepy sounding things again. Okay, let me see. There's a desk in the corner. Oh, there's the ink. Okay. All right. Restore ink pressure. All right, so I don't have to actually put those on there. Okay, I that's all. Now I just need to get the ink flowing somehow. What? Should I switch around here somewhere? You'd think so. Then I can start up the main power. Uh, let me see. Ink pressure. Wasn't that on the other side of the... Uh... Hang on, let's go back down here real quick just to make sure down here in the altar room is because I believe all I had to do was just put the stuff on there and then turn it back on from there yeah okay so low pressure is that a button I can push no can't pull the switch okay so I gotta go find that button that uh, regulates the pressure and I believe it was at the other end of the projector room no it wasn't in there it's in the projector room so I gotta go all the way back to the projector room which I believe is over here I don't get lost again. Oh, shh. Okay. Please don't eat me. Okay. Uh, you're creepy, dude. Oh, shh. Oh, okay. All right. Here, flow. Ink pressure. He's going to jump off that thing and chase me, isn't he? I just, I can feel it. He's going to chase me. And I can't run. All I can do is jump, but that's not really going to help anything. Oh, he's going to come. What the hell was that noise? Oh, man. I like this atmospheric noise and stuff. I love it, but it makes me jump. Just because, you know, when you're wearing a surround sound headset and stuff like that, you can hear stuff from behind you. And it's a whole lot more fun playing it that way. Okay. All right. So it looks like it's ready. Is this a button? Just a light. Okay, so flip the switch. Main power. Okay, so it's running. Alright, I guess we'll head back this way and see what happens. And hope nothing jumps out and kills us on the way. Because I can't really run from it. Alright, creepy wolf is still there. He hasn't moved. Where was that ink machine? Was it down here? But yeah, I mean... This is a trippy, trippy, cool game. I like it. What? Oh, son of a... Oh, my God. Oh, run. Get hell out of here. Oh, my God. That made me jump. Okay. Uh, I will... Uh, dreams come true. Oh, the place is filling up with ink. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Okay, there's the exit. All right. Maybe we can get... Them. Oh, shit. Oh, oh, crap. Uh oh uh oh the creator lied to us can I click on the door nope door's like oh my god okay holy crap that made my butt pucker up a little bit I'll, I'll be honest with you there Ooh, an axe can I take it I can take the axe this will definitely come in handy clear an old path how about the oh cool okay okay I can't chop down the door uh, I'm assuming that's not going to go anywhere here. All right, so we'll clear this out. I guess I'm hanging onto this axe with one hand by the very tip of the handle here. Kind of looks weird. All right, normally I don't have to clear all. I want to make sure it's completely clear, just in case I gotta flee for my life. I don't want to have any obstructions getting back out. You know, 
You need to make sure it's a nice, clear path. Gently move around. Oh, that's not foreboding. Come on. We got a pentagram in here with candles lit and some coffins. Man. Uh oh. Crap. World shaking. Hold on. I think I'm getting too close. Nope. Shaking regardless. Okay, we're going here. Uh, what's the pentagram have to do with anything? Oh, son of a biscuit. Okay. Appreciate the loud noises there. Make me jump. Thanks, Bendy. Okay, that's trippy as balls right there. Okay, so that's the end of chapter one. Support chapter two. You can go to the Meatly's Patreon account right there and check out and see, you know, what all you have to do to support them. Follow, I guess, follow up on development cycles and see what's going on. Oh, man. Okay. So, the Meatly looks like he did do a lot of the work himself here, which is really cool. I don't know who the Meatly is, of course, but that's pretty awesome. The music's pretty cool. The sound effects are pretty cool. I definitely really do appreciate that. Not a long list of credits, because it looks like the Meatly did most of it. Bendy will return. Well, I can't wait to see what Chapter 2 is, so that's going to be pretty awesome. But, uh, you know, if you guys did enjoy this, you know, do me a favor and leave a like on the video. And, you know, make, make sure you're subscribed for future videos so you don't miss out on any of the future ones that I'm uploading for whatever genre it is. And, uh, oh, uh, post-credit game. Can I move? No, I'm still in the same room as in. What's going on? Oh, that's not creepy or anything. Oh, crap. Okay, whew, all right. So apparently that's the end of it. All righty, whew, let's get out of here before I, uh, <laughs> have some more problems but anyway thank you guys so much for your time hope you're having a wonderful day you guys take it easy and i'll talk to you later